So today we're going to talk about raw level security and we're going to learn this out of the box feature that Power BI has. Often you hear some users ask you, they say, when I open Power BI, I only want to see the data that I created. And if that person is a manager, they may say, I only want to see the record that my team has created. They don't want to select the name of the owners, which is a fair ask. And that is actually can be set up using the roles in Power BI. And today we'll show you how to do it. Before we start to it, I just want to show you really quick. This is a Power BI dashboard that I, I just want to illustrate the idea. So if the user say, I just want to see my record, pretty much if, for example, myself, when I log in, I should only see the records that are assigned to me. So I, I will see different things. And in terms of a manager, for example, if manager is Sam logs in, Sam want only to see the record that belong to his team. It's going to go select, for example, Rick. Rick has two team member and they have six. So that will be more dynamic, less clicks and more actually private. So only teams see what they really need to see instead of seeing everything. So let's go ahead and show you how that works without these clicks. Before we start creating roles, let me show you some something really quick. There is two DEX formula that you need to be familiar with. The first one is called username and the second one called user principal name. These two DEX form, format it will help you understand how your raw level security will work once you implement it. So you can create a quick measure and you just type in username in exactly that same format and another measure with that format. And once you do, you can put a card uh, just to see what the outcome is. What you expect is the principal name will always bring you the email address of the logged in user versus the username. It will bring you the domain versus slash the uh, machine name. So. What I will use is the user principal. I'm going to use this to filter the records uh, in Power BI dashboard based on that. For example, if I am logged in, I want to only see the record I own. So I'm going to match the owner record with that field. So it will act as row level security. Go back to my dashboard. Now I will create the roles, so I go to model, modeling. Before I do that, I just want to show you something really quick. I go back to data and go to my tables. Now I want to get the name of the email field exactly as is, so I can filter it by. So I want to filter, I want to match the principal name with that field. So I take that name and I will go to roles and I will create a new role call user. This is the logged in user. They want to see their own record. I get to select the exact table that field that I want to filter by should exist. And remember the field called email. And I want to match that with principal user principal name. And I will save. So that's the first role. To test it, I can simply click a on view as, and I will select user. So with that going to happen, that's going to take my email and it filter the records to show me what match my email. Yes, I do. And it immediately filter it by show me only my records. That's imagine if I'm logged in. So that's a way to test it. So I'm going to clear that up. Next, I want to add another role is for the manager. So if the manager logs in, they want to see their team record. Now, before I do that, I got to go back to my table 
and remember I have a table that has the records and the owner information and I have another table I have the owner and their manager email so what I want to do I want to filter the record based on the manager email so what I will do is oops, I want to select the name of the field the column that I want to filter by then I'll go to manage role create a new role called manager and next I want to select the table that the field that I want to filter by exists and I want to match this to user principal name field sorry expression then save now this is my second role always I would recommend to add a third role called admin which is has no expression at all it's just empty the reason that you will need this sometimes for a certain scenario that somebody want to access the whole data for example is another admin or somebody want to look at the holistic picture it's a good idea to have it okay so now once i have all the roles set up properly now it's the time to save and publish this report to power bi service to so I'm going to select my workspace. And once it's published, we're going to go ahead and assign those roles to users. Once we publish the report, we'll be able to see it into the apps.powerbi.com, my workspace. And I, you can find your report by just typing the name of it and this is my report you'll see a data set automatically and report created when I want to assign the roles to users I have to go to the data set and you will see there is you select security once you do that you'll see these three roles that we created which is admin manager user so I want to if you if you have a list of users or group you can actually start typing their name to add those users to these roles. So, for example, I will add uh, Sam, and you just keep adding. The name as you go. Then you save. And you continue do the same thing when it comes to managers and admin and the same thing now once you do add the roles the third step that you do is you publish you share that report once you add the roles to the data set you go ahead to the report and you share that report with the users that you want them to access the report. After you share the report with the users, if the, those users open the report, they will see exactly what designated for them. So if they are user, they will only see the record. If they're manager, they will see their team records. And if they're admin, they will see everything. I hope this is helpful. Please like the video and let me know your comments in the comment section below. Thank you.